Thanks for checking out this video. Don't forget, like and subscribe. Javon Evans versus Randy Orton. Yeah. All right. Go ahead. Well, the match in a vacuum was largely what I expected, so it didn't bother me that much. Randy Orton did a house show match where they added like one table spot, except the table would not break, so it was five table spots. It still never broke. But when you... Like in a vacuum, it didn't bother me, but in the end, they announce that Javon is getting... He's added to the three-way he, for the number one contendership. He, he's, he's one win away from a, from a title match at a big show at Halloween Havoc. Yeah. So when you watch this, it's Randy outclassing, manhandling, dominating, and destroying Javon Evans start to finish. Javon tries his springboard cutter, the off cutter, whatever he calls it, right away. Randy does like he does like the, the Samoa Joe walkaway spot. Oh, it's it's funny. Twice. He, okay, but yeah. uh, he does this little sidestep where he's not, he's not even looking at Javon because John's a total geek. Just absolutely buries this guy as a geek. And you were all laughing at Javon. And Randy kicks his ass and dominates him and is slow and methodical. That's fine, but it's, it's you know, nothing here is making Javon look good. And they go out and they try to slam him on this table. Randy's not going to the table, of course, so he's just dropping Javon on over and over again and it won't break. And Booker T does this on-the-job training, and my favorite, paying your dues. So it never breaks. They just get back in the ring, and uh, Javon is mostly getting his ass kicked. He does finally get the off cutter, which Randy immediately kills by kicking out of. And they try something where Javon's going to do a like a corkscrew into something to get caught in the RKO, and it didn't quite work. So Randy picks him up, hits the RKO, and wins just smothered him and it was i mean i wasn't like at the time i was not that upset because i didn't think javon was going to beat randy orton i didn't expect them to do too much but they they did nothing here to make you think that javon was on randy's level no and i didn't like i knew this was exactly how it was going to be and the only thing that frustrated me was i literally said that they should do what they ended up doing with kalani so like they know how to do it. They did it on the same show. Mm. But they did it with somebody else. And poor Javon had to go out there and get trounced. I mean, fuck. The big he got one near fall with like a springboard high cross or something. Or did he hit the os cutter once? I think he hit the os cutter once. He hit the os cutter once. But like as soon as he goes for his move early and Randy just walks away like he's a geek and he crashes and burns. And then he tries another one, and Randy walks away, and he crashes and burns. I was like, okay, I at least know the big near fall at the end. And that is, Randy whips him in, Javon bounces on the middle rope, and he's going to come off, and Randy jumps for the RKO, but Javon doesn't jump. So Randy just hits an RKO on the air, looks like an idiot. And then Javon does a double springboard into the os cutter, and that's your big near fall. He, like, puts one over on this guy who kept walking away from him. Nope, didn't do it. There was no revenge for Javon being sidestepped twice. No. He just uh, got pinned in the end. Yep. I did like how nonchalant Randy was about them fucking up that big move. Yeah. They missed it. As you noted, his 43-year-old don't give a fuck Randy Orton anymore. Y young Randy Orton, this may have been an issue. What I also thought was funny was, uh, were you there when Undertaker, uh, the streak ended? Oh, yeah. I was in the building. Okay. Yeah. It's the weirdest fucking thing that ever happened to me because I saw Undertaker kick out. Ah. Brock hits that F5. Ref counts one, two, Undertaker kicks out. All of a sudden, people around me are fucking freaking out. I'm like, what the heck's going on? And then, like, they play his music. The bell rings, yes. And they, they put that big thing, whatever, and, uh, and one on the screen, 21 and one or whatever. And I was like, God damn it. The ref fucked up. And I'm waiting to see the replay because I was sure that he kicked out. And I look at the replay and he didn't kick out. I was like, what? So, anyway, the point is in this match, Javon goes for that torneo. And Randy jumps for the RKO, and fucking everybody went nuts because they've never seen him miss it. And so in their brains, he hit it. Mm. And it yeah, wasn't yeah, until yeah, yeah. there's like a, they ever go, they go fucking nuts. And then there's a pause, and they realize, oh, he actually didn't get it. And it's just amazing to listen to the reaction. And then Randy just grabs him, smiles. He says something to him, like, take it. Boom, it's another one. He covers him with a smile and pins him. Yeah. I laughed. <laughs> Whatever. There you go. There you go. 
Uh, so, so at the time, I'm thinking, oh, fine, they, they got Randy on TV, they're not doing anything with John, Javon, I've given up on Javon at this point, so, so who cares, what, it doesn't matter. But the show's not over. No. We go to Ava's office. Ava is telling both Ethan Page and Wes Lee, neither of you will get an automatic title match, you'll have to earn a title shot, so I'm booking you against each other next week with the winner getting a title shot at Halloween Havoc. I think, okay, that's interesting, it's heel versus heel, theoretically either guy could win, I figure it'll be Ethan, I mean... And then she says, and based on his impressive performance tonight, yeah. I am adding Javon Evans to that match. What? <laughs> the impressive performance where he lost? Her character is so incompetent. She didn't think of adding Oba Femi, who had a much more impressive performance after the longest North American title reign of all time? Yeah, yeah. No, it. Javon. Much stronger. This jobber Javon. This losing loser who loses, Javon Evans. Yes. We're going to throw him in that match. He fucking lost. The match was nothing special. And the more I go back and look at it, the more I realize what was impressive about his performance. He just finished one time and then Randy immediately kicked out of it and killed it. That's all he did. And you know what? I'm sure it'll be something like, oh, he wins the three-way, and then... That's not... doesn't justify this. Like, he gets a title It sucks shot now! But you know what? After all they've done for Javon, even if he, like, won the three-way and then won the title, it's like... So what? Now is... Yeah, he, like, he, fuck, you should have been doing this a long time ago. It won't mean anything if he wins a title at this point. No. After doing all these jobs. No. It, 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 it should have struck when the iron was hot. Yeah, the iron is not hot. So that... I was actually very angry at the time. Now I'm like, oh, who fucking cares? It's NXT. But yeah, that makes zero sense. So, question for you before, before we go. Yes. Who is a less worthy challenger? Private Party or Javon Evans? Javon. No, no, I'm sorry, Private Party. Okay. Because Private Party is getting this championship win off like, or this match off like one win. Yeah. In the last five years. Pretty much. And Javon at least had some wins. I did look it up. It's, it's more recent than I thought. A, a month ago, he beat Joe Coffey. Yeah, yeah, that big Joe Coffee. He hasn't been. It wasn't Joe Coffee. I don't think so. No. Jesus, that was a fucking month ago. Yeah, that's what I just said. God. <laughs> but hey, impressive performance. It wasn't. You know, it was a really impressive performance when he botched that move and then got pinned. <laughs> that was. Yeah. yeah. She could have at least said, I feel bad for the kid. <laughs> so I'm gonna throw him in this three way. Mercy title shot. Yeah. <laughs> you know, he's had a rough go. Fuck, well, had a feud with Joe Coffee. I guess she, she could have said his shirt selling well. Yeah, something. Yeah, he's, he's not having an impressive performance. Well, anyway, those are the two shows. Plus, and there's a good point by Brandon here. Even though he is kind of a jobber now, the fans still do react to Javon. They're not reacting to Private Party. So. That's that's a good point. Yes. Hmm. Hey, if you love this clip, have I got a deal for you? WrestlingObserver.com. Do you have a commute? Do you work out at the gym? Do you like listening to audio on your headphones or your earbuds or whatever the kids use today? Well, WrestlingObserver.com will give you all the audio you'll ever need in your life. Over 15,000 audio shows. Every audio show that we have ever done, dating back to 2005, is available for subscribers at WrestlingObserver.com. Every time a new show comes out, you can podcast it directly to your phone. If you have a commute... As noted, if you go to the gym, if you like to lift weights and listen to Granny review soap operas, well, WrestlingObserver.com gets you full access to all of these shows and all of these archives. You can go back and listen to TNA reviews from 2010. You can go back and listen to reviews of every WWE pay-per-view, every big story that's ever happened in wrestling. You can get access to that at WrestlingObserver.com. Plus, full access to the Wrestling Observer newsletter every week. 40,000 words of news and information in pro wrestling. Why get all your scoops off Reddit, which aren't even accurate most of the time? Go right to the source, the Wrestling Observer Newsletter. You also get Observer Archives dating back to 1990. So check it out today. Thousands of issues of the Wrestling Observer Newsletter. Tens of thousands of hours of audio. All for $12.99 per month or as low as $9.99 if you sign up for a year. You'll never, you'll never run out of audio if you subscribe to WrestlingObserver.com. So head up there, check it out today, and I'll talk to you again after a while.